okay out there at Radio Land? It's time to listen up. I've got something good to tell you. Are we going to make some potato chip cookies? Oh, these going to be good. I got that stick of butter in yonder. Uh, look here. Just imagine it's like, uh, let's say it's 1 or 1.30 in the a.m. Maybe you had a sleepover. For some reason, it's time to have a snack. And you don't got nothing. Okay, this is a perfect, this right here, this little dish. Y'all listen up. This is really, really good. Sometimes I'll tell you a recipe that's kind of hogwash. That's not the case here. This is really good. I got two sticks of butter in yonder. And what happened, if you're, if you're going to prepare this yourself and you're going to do it immediately, well, you, you'll have to put these two sticks of butter on a plate and shove them in the microwave for a few seconds. Because these right here, see, well, I'd like for them to be a little bit more at room temperature, but we can work with that. Let's, let's, uh, and, 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 and I actually did that to show you, uh, well, let's get her done. Uh, I got the two sticks of butter in there, and these potato chips was laid in about a month ago. And actually, you 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 you, on, you want about uh, actually on these potato chips, you would like to have. Uh, I'm going to say a cup. You know, about uh, let's say uh, four. Well, let's just put them all in there. You know, if you've got a few left, uh, there's no reason to save them. So, ever how many you got, ever how many tater chips you got, put them in that bowl with that butter. Uh, we need to start warming that butter up a little bit. But I do have a secret right here. And if you've never heard of this, uh, leave a comment, pass it on. Oh, this is going to be good. You're going to like this. Uh, tater chip cookies with raisins. Okay. I might have to put some more butter in there. Just be prepared. Uh, raisins. Uh, well, that's. I'm just gonna put them all in there. It was. It was. Uh, I'm gonna say that was about a half a bag of raisins. Put them in there and break them up. Don't leave them in a clump. Oh, it's gonna be good. Well, it's gonna be a lot too. But you know, like if you got a sleepover and you want to fix something really fast. Oh, yeah, it's going to be good. Raisins, potato chips, and butter. That's all we got in there so far. But I'm going to put some of this sugar about uh, and, and measure it. Don't just dump it in there. Put it in your hand and see how much you got. And I spilled over about a handful, and that's about a handful. I'm going to do that again. Let it spill over. That's too good. Oh, it's going to be good. And it might be good for you with them raisins in there. Remember them raisins. I'm just going to try to do this in a one-time video. Let's put some... Actually, the secret to this right here, at this point in time right now, uh, the recipe says to put an egg in there. And if you all remember, I don't like to cook with eggs. Uh, you know I like them. I, as a matter of fact, I had an egg sandwich just not long ago. Egg on white bread with mayo. Don't, I'm going to tell you that. It's really good. But the secret right here, instead of putting the egg in this right here, put these here grits in there, the Mr. Grits. Put you about, uh, see how many I put in there? About that many? That, that instant grits, they're good for you. Uh, it's the other stuff you put in there that makes them no good, but if that takes the place of the egg. That's, that's going to be the binder of this mixture right here. Don't put no salt in it, no pepper. Oh, well, this is about all the ingredients. We're going to put some flour in there. And I like to use that uh, self rising. You know, uh, about just a good handful to start with. And incorporate that all in right there. Oh, it's going to be good. See, at this point, I actually wished I had some more butter. Almost to the point where I would wait, but I'm not going to. You know what I mean? Uh, oh, that looks good. Re really, what you want to do, you want you want to have enough moisture in there to form you a nice ball. Oh, that's going to be good. 
And you can put some coconut in here if you had it. The neighbor, I, I, I actually, oh yeah. Okay, we could work with this right here. Uh, just keep up to, to it where we're at right now, and I'll show you something. Uh, I've got the oven already uh, preheating at 375 degrees. And what you do is you get you some of this, every what size cookie you want. See that made a real nice ball. That's a large one. Let's put it right there and pat it down. Make a real nice little thing right there. And give it plenty of room all the way around it. Oh, that's good. That's going to be good. I'm glad I didn't put no more butter in there. And this is that's the kind of decisions you have to be making right there at your kitchen in, in your own and uh, while you're working with this recipe you'll have to make this kind of decision oh yeah I want these to be good so what I'm going to do I'm just going to put like six on here oh yeah give them plenty of room because they will when they get hot they will and don't make them too thick they need to be kind of thin Oh yeah, y'all see that? I'm gonna move that over. I'm gonna try to get two more on there. And you know, there's no reason to waste no space. Okay, you know what? I hate to do this right here, but I'm gonna cut away and and I'm gonna bake these right here because I got a lot of these to do. Oh, I'm gonna bake a bunch of these. You know, might as well to have an extra one. Oh, it's better to have an extra one than it is a big short one. You know, like if right now, if you would like to have one of these, well, at, at that point, there's no reason to go any further. Just get on up and make you some. I'm going to put these in the oven, and we'll do one of them circles and come back, and I'll show you what they look like. While those are in the oven, let's just go ahead and lay out some more. And uh, you actually do not... Don't put no oil on here. Just put them little fellers on a dry pan. Remember that butter in there? Just put them on a dry pan like that right there. And, oh, he's going to be good. Just look at that thing. It looks good now. Leave a comment. Y'all see that? Oh, that's going to bake up real good. And I'll tell you something else. Uh, I, I'm, I'm going to let you in on a secret. One time I baked some of these things right here, and I didn't put enough butter in there. And when I took them out, they all fell apart. Uh, it was, uh, it was, uh, you would have thought it was a disaster. But when I done, th there was a couple of really good ones in the bunch, you know, that, that, that actually made a cookie. And what I done is I set those aside, and all that I had left, I just crumbled it all up and had it for a breakfast cereal. And I tell you what, it was really good. It was this same recipe that uh, was baked intentionally for a breakfast cereal. Well, it would be wonderful. Just try it. I mean, I'm not going to write down the recipe or nothing like that. I mean, you're pretty much on your own. But you seen what we did and what we're accomplishing. You know, if you try, if you only got one left or something other, you you actually can put them a little bit too close together. Don't don't have an odd cookie left out there on the sheet, and don't eat this raw neither. If you start eating this stuff right here, you just well turn the oven off. Oh, this is good like it is. I'm not suggesting it. Look at there. Now, actually, I've got one more left, so I'm going to I'm going to move this one, and I'm going to get the rest of that right there to make one more. Oh, that's being funeral. Get ever get ever little morsel out of there, and you'll be tempted to taste this stuff. It smells pretty good too. And you put that right on there like that, and I'm going to bake these for 10 minutes in a preheated 375 degree oven. I'm going, to, I'm going to do one of these things right here and we'll come back. Y'all see that? That's them cookies that we put in there 10 minutes ago. 375 degrees or pre preheated oven. And you see how they browned around the edge? I just brought them out and put the other tray in there. I'm going to let them cool on the sideboard over there for just a little bit. But you can see the oil on the tray. 
proving that we had enough butter in them, oh, these are going to be good. And smell, oh, they smell so delicious. I'm going to, I'm going to let them sit on the uh, sideboard and, uh, and cool a little bit. In the meantime, if you, well, actually, with at this point in time, I wouldn't suggest any milk. I would think a, one of these Tutti Fruities. Just pour uh, all of it that's necessary. The uh, That's going to be the drink, the choice tonight is uh, a Gerardo's Tutti Frutti. Hey, look, what's this? It's true. Tutti Frutti on this side, watch this. Magic. It's Fruit Punch. <laughs> watch this. Uh, can y'all see that? It says Fruit Punch. Watch this. Uh, it's, it's magic. Tutti Frutti. That's what it says right there. Tutti Frutti. Watch this. I'm going to do it again. I'm just going to do it one more time and then pass on. You can plainly see that that says Tutti Frutti. Okay. What's this? Fruit Punch. <laughs> It's hilarious. You ought to get you one of them and have some fun with it. And it, it tastes pretty good, too. Well, yes. I think you'll have to agree that this right here, that's good enough for television. That's this. You could present this, this dish anywhere. It's actually the aroma. Mm, those raisins, they're plumped up. It's simply beautiful. Oh, the smell is uh, is what's going to amaze you, but the raisins, yeah, hot. Mm mm mm. By all means, look here. I actually ain't lying about this. This is really good. Go ahead and fix yourself one. I mean, if you ain't never cooked nothing in the whole wide world. Picture somebody. Leave a comment. Oh, this is good. This is unbelievably good. Bonapartite. 